there are a ton of tech entrepreneurs on the Bulletproof diet right now. This diet is something that took years of experimenting and just reading research studies to create. There's more than a thousand references that back up different parts of it on the site. And the problem with diets is that it took me many, many years to get the level of comprehension I have. My experience as a tech uh, sort of CTO type lets me take extremely complex things and make them simple enough for people to understand basically in a, in a meeting. So I boiled it all down to a single one-page infographic that you can get for free on the site and print out. And it tells you not, you know, do this, don't do that. You know, here's your rigid meal plan. It tells you if you're going to make a choice, here's a spectrum from best choice to least best choice. So you don't have to be perfect because you will fail at anything if you try and be perfect. Like, oh, I eat 100% organic diet. I'm like, yeah, but was it biodynamic? Oh, and was it picked by monks? Okay, was it picked by one-armed monks? Like, you, you, can always get, you can always get some other ridiculous thing, right? So it, screw perfection. What we're doing here is saying, let's just make a slightly better decision over and over and over, and what you get is an emergent behavior that creates optimal human performance. So uh, right now, I had the CEO of a venture-backed startup walk up to me at a recent conference, say, Dave, I need to shake your hands. And this guy was pretty big. And he said, I'm gonna show you something. He pulls his waistband out. And he said, my pants are four sizes too big, and I've lost 45 pounds in the last 60 days, thanks to your diet. And here's a card from my wife. And she wrote it out because she knew he was gonna meet me. And the card said, thank you for giving me my husband back, not because he lost weight, but because his brain turned back on. And that was what he wanted to talk about, was the cognitive performance. Weight loss is a bonus. The Bulletproof diet is about your brain working best. You want to feel bulletproof every day. You want to wake up and have no cravings all day long and just be able to focus endlessly. This is the way to do it. There's one other thing we should talk about too. We are launching at this conference two other products that people really haven't heard of. One of them is called Upgraded Brain. There's this class of nootropics. These are commonly known as smart drugs. There are a whole variety of them and there are many that are available in the US as nutritional supplements. We've identified the one that's most closely associated with increases in creativity, and your developer friends will love this. There's only one that increases memory IO in the, the people's experience of using it. So you can think things faster, get things in and out of your brain faster. It's a bigger system bus for your brain. And it's the only one of the racetams that also, in some studies, has an anti-anxiety effect. So we're trying to lower stress, increase memory IO, and increase creativity. So we're going to be launching this uh, in the next little while, like in the next couple of weeks, everyone here is gonna get a discount on the first bottle of that. We also have the upgraded Focus Brain Trainer that's coming out, which is just going live on the site today. This thing is something you might've seen if you've seen like my stuff in, in uh, was it in Fast Company? No, in the Chronicle. It was a picture of me wearing this blue headband and what I'm doing there is I'm training my brain to have more blood in the front of the brain. The front of the brain here, your prefrontal cortex, is where the parts of, that make you human reside. This is the part that controls the mammalian and the reptilian brain if it's trained to control them. Otherwise, they're in control and you end up acting like a Labrador, eating everything and you know, humping people's legs. It's, yeah. it's messy. <laughs> so what, what you're trying to do here is, is figure out how do we optimally turn that on? Well, one way is you train yourself to know how to bring blood to the front of the brain. It turns out for every very short, like five minute training session with one of these devices, the inventor of this technology actually has shown that people increase their score on the TOVA scale, which is a psychological assessment tool for how well you can pay attention. So literally, we're teaching you to focus better by consciously bringing blood to the front of your brain. This is used in some clinical settings, a similar technology are used for ADD and things like that. The one we have is a non-prescription grade consumer unit, and all it is is a headband, a little device you plug it into and stick it into your uh, your computer and then you sit and look at the screen and make the screen move the way you want it to it's not neurofeedback it's not using brain waves it's using blood when you combine that with neurofeedback it's amazing but just this alone we're launching it at a discounted price even it's for nine hundred and ninety five dollars for people at the show anyway and there's a limited number available but this is the kind of technology have you ever heard of this no one has it's trivial, it's simple, and once you have the skill, it's like going to school. You don't lose it if you don't use it. Can you teach kids to do this? Yes. 
Do I teach my kids to control their heart rate variability using the HeartMath Institute device? Yes, my kids play with an M-Wave and they think it's great fun. They don't know that when they make the light green, they're teaching themselves to regulate their behavior and their nervous system. They just have fun. Yeah. Do they love to sit on a screen and pretend like they're flying while their brain is learning how to function? Yes, they do. This is far more powerful than forcing them to do math or something, although they're good at math too.